Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. I'm going to do your October love reading. Um, so if you're new, please do click like, share, and subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below this video. Please be mindful, Pisces, that these readings are general, so it may or may not resonate for you, so take what fits and leave the rest. Okay, so we're going to take a look at a relationship that has, if you are in separation with someone, a breakup after the split, what the current energy is right now with whomever your person is, their true feelings, what will be the outcome or the future of the relationship, etc. All right. So let's get started. Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. What is the relationship's current energy at this time? Please show Pisces for October, the current energy at this time. Okay, wow. All right, there might be a pregnancy. Somebody might be pregnant at this time. Um, the Empress energy, it does, so that's Libra. Maybe you have a connection with a Libra, maybe a Taurus. Um, Okay, they just gave me this message. Uh, time away from a relationship is causing someone to become a better parent. And I'm also hearing uh, somebody, there was a split, something to do with another female um, or uh, a mother figure. Okay, so that doesn't necessarily, I'm not picking up infidelity, but there may that may play a role if you, if you know that. If you know that, then you can allow that to resonate. But if you don't know and you're not sure, I'm not predicting that, okay? So try not to get yourself in a situation here where, oh my God, that's what it is when you don't have the facts. And that's only for those of you who don't know, who don't have the facts. If you suspect it, well, that's a suspicion. You'll have to just kind of dig a little deeper for that. But there is definitely the influence of an empress, the influence of um, a mother, she could be, or, or another female, helping in some way with this relationship. But let me get a clarifying card just to see. Okay, wow, okay, Eight of Wands. Hmm, okay, so I do feel like for others, there may just be, there's communication happening, um, the current energy for some. You may be still talking to this person. There may still be some type of like, um, just maybe some travel or a lot of communication. It, so I don't, I'm not seeing this as, as a root cause of a split. I just do see the current energy is that there is someone who's positioned here in a, a female. It could be you. You might be in this place here during a time out or a break in a relationship where you are traveling or you are receiving a lot of communication from others like that Cupid's arrow, uh, good news. Okay. Also coming into, um, the energy of this relationship. Okay. A lot of different messages there. Please forgive me. I, I tried to like cover as much as I could. So, you know, whatever's coming or resonates for you, then, you know, take that. Okay. Now let's see what the root cause of the separation is at this time. Okay. Commitment issue. Either somebody had too many options, um, or they didn't know what they wanted, um, or couldn't make a decision. Okay. Um, too many choices, living in fantasy land, not grounded in reality, lack of clarity. Okay. And that's what I feel like the root cause is of why a relationship has been severed. Okay. Now for some, it could be because of another person. It could be a third party influence. Could it be infidelity, infidelity and cheating? Like I said, if you know, that could be a part of it. Third party could also be influence of um, a family member, a friend, a work, a person, place, or a thing. Okay. But somebody couldn't choose. Somebody could not choose. Um, they were overwhelmed or they were just, I don't know if it's like, didn't have the inner awareness within self. There's a lack of inner awareness. Okay. Someone was un, or somebody unable or was unable to self master self discipline, that kind of thing. That seven of cups is like wishes and, and visions of grandeur and, you know, living in like an alternate reality, spending more time up in the clouds than 
here on terra firma, okay? Um, not being very realistic uh, about like a relationship. And you know, I mean, having fantasies and dreams and things like that, that's a part of being human. Um, and I think that those are wonderful things. And you would know Pisces because you're very dreamy yourself. But um, it could also be a detriment if it's like way too much, if it's if there's a lack of balance. Now, Pisces, this could be you um, where you could make a decision about a person because of some other event or a situation. And you may be kind of like, oh, I don't know if I want to commit to this person or if I want to, I'm not sure. And so something might have caused something along those lines has caused a split now let me see what this your person's true feelings are for you right now okay temperance so sagittarian energy so um hmm. this is very interesting i feel like this their um their feelings is they are um they're, they're being very right now having self-control, moderating their emotions. They're, they're balancing their emotions, but moderating the depth of their feelings for you. Okay. They're trying to balance things out. And so if this was the person that you were connected with where they couldn't make a decision or they couldn't commit, I feel like their feelings for you is, um, yeah, I mean, I do feel like they, they feel that it's crazy. They feel you're very stable. I don't mean to say it's crazy like, oh, who, Pisces? No. I just mean this person views you. They're, they're, the emotion that they get, like they feel safe and secure around you. But something here, let me get a little more clarity of um, I feel like I hear my phone ringing. Let me get a little more clarity on why this person was having um, commitment issues. Hold on one second. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, it seems to me uh, if there was a connection with the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I feel like this person might like there's some type of interference. I really feel like there's some kind of interference by a male or a female, um, a sister and a brother or a parent two parents or one parent um, or a friend. There might have been a friend that kept telling, you know, um, telling your person, no, 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 don't, don't commit to Pisces. Um, you know, just let's go do something. Or there was a person connected to your person that didn't, uh, that tried to interfere is how I feel. Okay. I mean, I know that's like, it's very specific. Sorry. It's very specific, but the King of Wands, fiery energy here, comes across as someone who is like very charming and courageous, bold, confident, self assured, uh, alpha type of an energy. This could be someone who's single and is telling your person, uh, you know, come on, you only have like, you, you still want to be single, you still want to live your life. You know, let's go out, let's go meet people, like a party girl, party boy kind of thing going on. But yet, at the same time, <laughs> Temperance is here. And I feel like this person does want you. They do want this connection with you. They feel like you're solid. There's, They have like this, that four of wands energy, the 11-11 soulmate twin flame kind of thing. You know, I, I don't know if your person is just listening to too many other people or letting other people make their decisions for them in life. Okay. Or, or they're just kind of, it, it feels like they're somebody who just doesn't take the lead. They seem very content with just, Hey, whatever happens, happens, you know? And for some of you, I just get a sense that uh, I, I'm hearing your person may have said to you, um, you know, what, what don't fix things that aren't broken. Uh, just leave it alone. Um, you know, just let it be. Uh, you know, what's wrong with the way things are right now? That kind of energy. Okay. And, and Pisces, I, I feel like, you know, this person's very easily led by others. 
and, and maybe friends or parents. And like I said, okay, but their feelings for you, I do feel they feel like they enjoy being with you. They like being, they, they want to be in a com committed relationship, but they want to just keep the structure and the balance of your relationship as it is. Um, they're okay with it. Um, they feel stable. They feel, um, like you're home to them. Okay. So, uh, I mean, and if there's a third party, if there's infidelity, it's like somebody is trying to have their cake and eat it too. And they may be exploring that right now. And I feel like they're getting pulled. It, it, it it's almost like a temptation kind of thing. That's, that's what I feel like a temptation kind of thing. Um, what is this person's intentions towards Pisces this time? Okay. Yeah. So there's pushback, nine of wands energy. Um, it's like your person, it's wanting to have their cake and eat it too. They like being with you is great and being with others is great. And having you there and not having to like fully commit or um, change anything is great. I, I don't know if this person's kind of like, like a jelly, like, like, like I was going to say, not a jellyfish. Why was I going to say that? If they're like, um, I don't like jello, like, like moldable, you know, it, it, it's very phlegmatic kind of energy. Like, you know, ah, you know, it is what it is, that kind of thing. And with the nine of wands here, their intentions towards you, it feels to me is like, no, I'm not, don't push, don't push me. That's, that's kind of what I feel like they're not going to move. They're not going to budge standing their ground, like blocking, like boundaries, you know, that kind of thing. And it, it's like they're and being very persistent with that. And I feel like maybe you weren't happy with this. And, and the split is like, Oh, you know, I'm seeing couch potato. I'm seeing somebody who just really doesn't, they put in minimal effort because to them that's enough or that's all they're capable of putting in. Um, okay. Wow. That's crazy. What's the future nature of this relationship for Pisces and this person? Wow. Hang hey, man, that's your card too, Pisces, at least one of your cards. Um, I feel like you've got to like get wise to this person. Um, if you're still hanging on or if you're still wanting something more with this person, um, you're going to have to see something. If you're still wanting to re reconnect with them, I feel like in October, you need to get a different view of this situation. And maybe this reading will help bring you some clarity that I don't see at least in October progression with this person. Okay. I see them. I, I feel like for you, the, the, the relationship is just stagnant. It's just going to be like at a stalemate with a hangman. Um, the only thing that's going to move forward is your thoughts about this and their thoughts about things, right? Um, as far as like, they're not going to move forward. They're still in this position in October where it's like, just leave me be, I, I'm just doing my thing. And, 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 and they don't want, like, they want to be with you, but they don't want any, like, I don't know if there's a problem or something that, um, you've addressed with this person in the past rather than try to like sit down and say, okay, let me see how I can help. What, what can I do to, you know, in, make things better between us? What, what role can I play in improving things? Instead of saying that, it seems like the person that this reading is about is to just, eh, it'll work itself out. And sometimes that's okay. Sometimes it, things will just work themselves out. But when there's every relationship has things that need to be resolved and addressed and resolved. And the important things, your person just kind of comes to me here, like, eh, give it to God. Eh, you know, leave it be. Yeah, leave it be. Leave me be. I just don't want to, it feels like it's just going to stay the same in October, at least, the future nature. What's the best step for you to take care of Pisces? Spirit, tell Pisces, what is the best step at this point for Pisces to take? All right. Well, you got the eight of pentacles. Like keep putting the effort into your, first of all, 
I'm hearing like, get your ass back to work. <laughs> I don't know who I'm talking to here, but um, get busy. And I mean, get busy and start building. And if you already are busy and you're building, keep it up, keep doing that. That eight of pentacles is putting in that effort every single day, whatever you're working on, um, keep mastering your craft. Try to find enjoyment in your work if you're struggling, okay? Keep improving the day in, the daily grind. Um, you know, work can be very therapeutic, of course, and you are very creative, Pisces. Almost all of you are extremely creative, and you have like some kind of, you like to do businesses, and you, you like to build, and you like to create things, and you know, you have a lot, maybe you work in the beauty industry, or uh, you like to build things uh, with your hands, whatever it is, keep doing that throughout the month of October because I mean really you know I feel like this person they have to come to terms with you know being in a relationship with you if that's something that they want um, they can't just keep pushing back it's a, it's a partnership it's teamwork two people have to work on the these relationships together okay so you keep doing you if you're going to school or if you're studying or you're learning things you know keep doing that um, things might change in November so we'll come back in November and see how the energies play out then Pisces but for now I'm going to leave your reading here I hope that gave you clarity and helped in some way and I will see you all next month all right take care